After 9-11, American law enforcement had to scramble to get their expertise up to deal with terrorism. Counterterrorism was nothing new to the Israelis, who have accumulated decades of expertise trying to provide maximum security for its citizens who have suffered suicide bombings and armed attacks by militant Palestinians and others. In the first half of the last decade, over 1,000 Israelis were killed by suicide bombings. But in the last five years, the violence has dropped. Israeli counterterrorism is so effective that American law enforcement officials visit regularly to learn ways to tighten homeland security. It's an eye-opener and an opportunity for networking that allows them to develop relationships. Coming here, I knew that uh, Israel had a lot of knowledge on how to combat terrorism. I mean, they're, they're pretty much experts at it um, from practice, uh, from their history. So the United States obviously has been facing it for the past 10 years. We've learned that sharing information and, and coming together on the law enforcement side is critical. Uh, and when we work together, we're stronger. So uh, best practice opportunity coming here, learn how the Israelis uh, handle it from their point of view. Groups like this one, made up of police chiefs and FBI agents from the Northeast United States and sponsored by the Anti-Defamation League, are able to learn firsthand the tactics and strategies on how to treat mass casualties, perform rescue operations, and establish command and control after terrorist attacks. And one of the things that uh, surprised me that at the scene of an incident, the uh, Israeli National Police are in control of the entire situation, whether it's fire, uh, they, they command the whole uh, scene. It would be a little bit difficult in New York with the various agencies to do that, but it's definitely something that we have to strive for, that there's one unified command. These chiefs of police and sheriffs are learning from people who are living now what American law enforcement feels is a question of time until they see similar situations on the streets of their hometowns. In Israel, for example, Virtually all casualties are evacuated to hospitals within 15 minutes of an attack. It's unbelievable that you could uh, deploy resources in 15 minutes to evacuate people from a scene of terror. Um, it, it's, uh, it's unheard of because of the distances, because of the uh, problems sometimes in the processes in getting people to the scene in the United States. So it, it's quite fascinating to me here that it can be done so fast, so efficiently, and so well. This group visited the trauma center at Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem, which has unfortunately notched up a rich experience in dealing with mass casualties. The Israelis are more than willing to share their expertise. This is something that began initially after the terrible incident in 9-11, almost a decade ago, that's correct. But uh, since then we've moved on a long way and we work continuously throughout the year. We have delegations that come over here to Israel and work with our different police units, just not just to hear about our police units, but actually work, join our police units, train with our police units, and giving the information from what we can help and support and make America a safer place. This is something which is in our main interest of the Israeli police. Complacency is one of the enemies of counterterrorism, and it seems that experts believe terrorism will be with us for a long time to come. It'll never be over. It's something that's going to endure and we have to continue um, you know, there's a saying, the more we move away from 9-11, we move closer to 9-10, which is people forget, where the Israeli people don't forget, because it's a recurring thing.